Hey y'all everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Alright you guys, let's get part 3 underway. Hey Google, tell me a joke. A Neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. No charge, you guys, you get it? Because he was a Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys. Part three. The third quarter. Uh, cold time. became like my dominant car for like the entire game. Whoa. I remember, yo, I put like 3,700 miles onto this car, yo, the first time I ever played this game. Yeah, man, this car was my boo. For a little while.
did not make my uh, tasty food just yet. I'm gonna wait till after this race. Make my food while I transfer these uh, files over to my computer. And thus, make a lot more space for me to record much more videos because I kinda wanna play this game like all freaking night. I only woke up a couple of hours ago. And I've got nothing else to do today. So I think I'm gonna go crazy and record an ass ton of Gran Turismo for you guys. Feeling good right now too, feeling confident, feeling fast. So I think it's a good day, good day to record. We got the battle going on back here between the Panos Esperante and the Ford GT40. Panos Esperante takes him around the swimming pool chicane. GT40 is a little bit worse for wear compared to a Panos Esperante, that's for sure. Hey, big boy. What are you doing? <laughs> What the fuck was that? Listen to the pain of eh? Awesome. I love the pain in uh, eye racing and uh, project cars. Pain Esperante GTR1, the Visteon. Fucking amazing car in both of those games. It's an amazing car in this game as well. It just uh, <laughs> doesn't stand in the same room with the uh, Toyota GT1 Nissan R390, Mazda 787B, and the car that we're driving right now, the Pagani Zonda race car. It's almost as fast as those four. They kind of slowly lose you. Which is pretty cool considering the Esperante is a totally different class. But it still manages to keep up with the big boys of Le Mans. Whoa, fucking frames, man. I think what I'll do is uh, I'll finish this endurance race and then I'll copy all of these videos over to my computer, put them into my Gran Turismo file, you guys, Ooh. or my folder, I should say, Gran Turismo folder, and then uh, I'll be able to record again, and the next race after this Depending on what car we get, it may actually change what race we do next. If we do end up getting the Toyota GT1 from this race, which again, whoa, I don't even know if that's a car that you can win from this race, but if it is, and we do, <laughs> then the uh, next race that we would do, what the fuck? Oh shit, dude. Yo, my controller just started blinking out. Hold on. I had literally nothing there. No, I just started hitting pause like a madman right when I had, like I had, I literally had nothing. No steering, no gas, no brakes. <laughs> and then my light kept going on and off on my uh, controller. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Happens every once in a while. If you're wondering why my 
my controller acts like that, it's actually kind of my fault. It's not for me throwing it or anything like that. This controller is very old. One, one. this controller is very old. Uh, it's, it's one of the first controllers I ever got. Um, but number two, and this is what kind of makes it my fault, is that I didn't want it to vibrate anymore. I didn't want the vibration function. Uh, some games, uh, you can't actually turn off the vibration. And to play for, um, to play video, to play games for YouTube, uh, that's all you guys would hear in the background, brr, 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 all the time. My mic would definitely pick that noise up. So essentially what I did <laughs> was I pried the controller open, I reached onto the insides, and I ripped the whole, like, thing out that makes the controller vibrate. Like the rumbler, I literally reached inside of the controller and ripped that son of a bitch right out of there. <laughs> Now, it still has the right side rumbler, which is only the half size rumbler, so I do still get a little vibration in my hands, but not the audible vibration of the, uh, the one, the rocker on the left side, which is the big rocker, that's the one that makes it go <laughs> So I ripped that son of a bitch out of there, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, after doing that, every once in a while this controller just sort of gets a little bit, uh, a little bit angry on me, I guess. It's like it gets a little short circuit. Nothing too serious, though. You guys are wondering what kind of controller I'm playing on. I'm playing on a, an actual Sony DualShock 2. However, this is one of the very rare uh, translucent controllers. No color. It does not have a color. It is like a plastic bag. It is translucent. No color. Very, very rare. Like, very, very, very rare. <laughs> In fact, I've never really even seen another one, so that's how rare it really is. I love this controller. See, you can find the translucent controllers in, like, any color, right? Green, blue, red, all kinds of colors. But to find the actual clear some serious shit you got there, my man. <laughs> the clear controller. Like, I have a bunch of the other ones. I have a, a yellow one, two blue ones, purple one, green one, red one. What other controllers do I have? I have my siphon, siphon filter controller, which is, like, pretty much brand new. I have a couple of the original black ones as well. I have like nine controllers for PS2, nine or ten, but this one's just my favorite. I play all of my games on this controller, even though sometimes it shorts out and even has caused uh, some losses and some deaths in some games, but <laughs> I just love this controller, man. Come on. Come on.
else on the track. Tiny little kerfuffle, but that was a pretty hot lap, man. 131. 137. Damn, where the hell did we drop that? Uh, 130.7 is our best. How often do you think the e-brake gets pulled in a car like this, you know? Fucking never. <laughs>
Considering, look at the time that we got. And that idiot fucked us around for a, a good little while there. Man, that might have even been sub 130, you guys. Like 129 something, 129.9. But he had to come along and shove his whole hand up my ass crack. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I'd love to break a 130 in this car.
got a weird grip going on now because our tires are starting to get into it. <laughs> Man. Yeah, driving this race is actually giving me a little bit of a nostalgic feeling. Because again, uh, like the very first time that I like played through this game all the way, this was like the first race car that the game decided to give me. And I had to train and train and train to be able to drive this car properly until I really got the hang of it after like 200 miles. <laughs> and then this car became like one of my favorite cars in the game. To the point where I was like telling all my friends about it and stuff like, man, you gotta get the Pagani Zonda race car, man. That shit is it's the best. <laughs> you know? It's a great car. Fourth fastest, once again, fourth fastest car in the game. It's this little sweetheart right here. Fourth fastest, excluding Formula One. The handling of this car is absolutely incredible. If there's one thing that I would have to say, like what this car really uh, uh, excels at, whoa, I would say it's handling. Brakes are a little, like the brakes are great. They could be a slight bit better though. Um, I think with a little bit of setting adjustment, I would be able to fix the brakes easily. have them uh, really grabbing. Other than that, man, this car is absolutely amazing. Listens really well. Has an excellent balance. Accelerates fast. Big top speed. It's a big car too, man. You could really, um, you could really bully the other cars on the track. Whoa! Really block really well in this car as well too. Again, because it's a really big car. Well, not like big, big, but it's wide, right? It's a very wide car. So it makes it a little bit difficult for the opponents to actually try to worm their way around you.
talk to you guys. <laughs> Madness. And don't forget, again, this car actually does have a second turbo that you can put in it. Bringing its horsepower to just over 1100. <laughs> so if you want an extra, uh, another 200 some horsepower on top of what it has here, man, the option is uh, available for you. So this car could theoretically be even faster than it is now. I just would not uh, want that much horsepower on the uh, Cote de Zur. Maybe on a different track, Grand Valley or something like that, throw that extra turbo in there. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> leave it at home. Yeah, man, thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode of Gran Turismo 3. Oh, do me a favor, you guys. Maybe leave a like on the video. Maybe even subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I wish you the total best. And I freaking love you. And I, uh, yeah, man, I'll uh, see you guys in the uh, final part of this race, which, race, which I will be uploading today. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you guys once more. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the final part. Have a good. Bye. Bye.